Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. SMIC has made important breakthroughs in 28 nanometers process technology and is currently accelerating the pace of capacity expansion. It is expected to become one of the world's leading manufacturers in the future 28 nanometers process. Major countries are accelerating the development of domestic products and reducing their dependence on foreign products. The problem TSMC is currently facing is expanding its production scale and not fully utilizing its productivity, which will also affect the entire world chip industry. China will learn more about this below. SMIC expands its factory. Recently, two major news about SMIC have been released one after another. First, SMIC was included in a list by the US government, which may bring great pressure to SMIC. SMIC relies on American companies for many equipment and technology, so once it is on this list, it will have a great impact. Because SMIC is no longer just a chip supplier for Huawei, but has shouldered many important strategic missions in this eastern power. Once SMIC has problems, it will have a great impact on the integrated circuit industry of this eastern power. SMIC has achieved important breakthroughs in 28 nanometers process technology and has entered the mass production stage. 28 nanometers is a very important technical link. There are not many companies in the world that are capable of making 28 nanometers chips, among which TSMC is the most prominent. However, according to the continuous expansion of SMIC's production scale, its output has jumped to the fifth place in the world in the first quarter of fiscal year 2023, with an annual output of 1.7 billion. The 28 nanometers process accounts for nearly half of SMIC's output. What's more exciting is that SMIC now has 77% of the 28 nanometers process capacity. This share is already very high. If this trend continues, SMIC will surpass TSMC in 28 nanometers technology, leap up and take a leading position worldwide. From this point of view, it will be more difficult for the US government to curb the rise of SMIC. In addition, for some reason, TSMC has suspended the expansion project, and the Kaohsiung New Generation plant mainly produces 28 nanometers and 7 nanometers processes. Now the progress has slowed down, and SMIC appears to be more active. Eastern powers accelerate independent research and development. As mentioned earlier, because of the US ban on Huawei, these major Asian countries are stepping up exports to it. Not only can Huawei not buy the chips it needs, but other companies have also suffered a blow. However, it is gratifying that in these major Eastern European countries, the chip industry is rising rapidly. From the perspective of companies registered in the past year, 30% are from the chip and semiconductor industries. After the implementation of the loose policy, local companies with strong strength in the East have accelerated their manufacturing and research, driving the vigorous development of the entire industry. According to figures released by major Asian countries, the number of chips produced in the United States in the first quarter of fiscal year 2023 was 10.8 billion, a year-on-year -year decrease of 22.9%. However, the important point is that these Eastern European countries have never released so many import figures before. Therefore, after a lot of research, many scholars believe that after the introduction of the loose policy, some major Eastern European countries have cancelled their orders in large numbers, totaling 1,291 orders. Data shows that major East Asian countries are accelerating their own research and development and trying to reduce their dependence on foreign goods. On the contrary, TSMC faces a more difficult situation. Surprisingly, TSMC did not get 30% of the approved companies in the past year. Although TSMC constantly claims 
that it is different from other companies and calls itself a friendly foundry. The US government is obviously very interested in this difference and is more concerned about the control of the overall industrial structure. Earlier news reports pointed out that the US authorities had held several talks with TSMC about TSMC earlier, but due to various factors, it was not put on the list in the end. In this process, China also found other development trends. In the last quarter, companies authorized by Eastern European countries accounted for 30%. From the above aspects, the Eastern powerhouse urgently needs to introduce alternative products at this stage. As an invisible booster, this alternative quickly established its position in the market and achieved remarkable results. However, TSMC, the world's largest chip foundry, is troubled by capacity expansion. According to news reports, the next generation of chip foundry in Kaohsiung will be based on 28 nanometers and 7 nanometers processes. However, due to various factors, the project has now slowed down. TSMC is now very large, and when the new plant is put into use, it will be a big problem to deal with the relationship between orders and capacity. If TSMC fails to handle this problem, it will lead to thin profit growth, reduced revenue, or excess capacity. Since last year, there have been rumors that the 28 nanometers foundry will be expanded and the construction of new plants will be slowed down. China has also noticed some statistical changes. According to data from a media outlet, due to the US restrictions on Huawei, about 30% of manufacturers received imported products in the first half of this year. The change in this number is undoubtedly sending a strong message to the world. This eastern power has begun to accelerate its own development and reduce its dependence on foreign countries. SMIC has achieved mass production of 170 million wafers in the 28 nanometers process, accounting for 77% of the world's market share. TSMC has been hindered by the expansion of production, sales have declined, and process capacity is insufficient. The US semiconductor giant, with a market value of 1.9 trillion, is facing pressure to lay off and reduce capital investment. The news shows that SMIC has taken an important step in the 28 nanometers process, and it also shows that China is accelerating the development of its own technology. The problems faced by TSMC are also attracting much attention. How to change the semiconductor industry of the whole world is a very hot topic. What do you think? Welcome to leave your opinions here.